guys. Thought I'd mix up my videos by having my first unboxing video. So today we've got the biopellet reactor made by Next Reef. And uh, this is the SMR1. What's cool about this reactor is that it's got a tinted uh, canister and it's specifically for biopellets. You can use it for other media like phosphate and carbon but you have to add sponges to it. Where this one here, you don't need the sponges to run biopellets so that works perfectly because it's a simpler design made specifically for biopellets and uh, so I got this. It handles up to 250 gallons. I've got a small tank, a 34 gallon tank, so I'm not going to use that much media. I am going to be using uh, bio pellets from Two Little Fishies. This is 400 milliliters and I just went with this because it's more than enough initially for me to go with and it was actually like the least expensive that I could find. The pump that I'm going to use is an Eheim 2000 and what's cool about this pump is that it's adjustable anywhere from 264 gallons up to 528 gallons. So uh, went with that. It's about $80. The bio pellets, you can get it for about $16, $20. The reactor here, I got it for about $110. Okay, so let me go ahead and start opening up the box here. Okay, this is a bracket to hang it on the back of your tank if you want to. Alright, here we go. What a cool color. Okay, so here's some dimensions on this reactor. It's 15 inches to the top of these thumb screws. And it's going to be about 15 and 3 quarters inch to the top of the bar fittings. There's going to be two, obviously, one going in, one going out. And when you add the hose clamps that you'll need to tie the uh, hose to the bar, it's going to be about 16 inches. Okay, this is going to fit perfectly within my stand. So i uh, got the measurements, figured it out. It's going to work perfectly. Again, I went with this uh, reactor because it's custom for bio pellets. Uh, there's no sponges you need in here, so uh, that just again makes it a lot easier to design. It's tinted so that it eliminates or reduces the possibility of any algae growing in here. Uh, I'm going to have it in my stand, so that's not really going to be an issue, although I do have a fuge light, so actually it will be helpful to have that tinted. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and open this up a little bit so we can take a look at how it's made. Okay, that was easy to take the top part off. Okay, there's a little gasket here. Feels pretty solid. Inside the chamber. Got some instructions here. These must be the bar fittings. I'll open those up in a second. Some more instructions. Whoa! Sticker, that's pretty cool. Alright, so this I guess goes on the top, this goes on the bottom, slides in. Alright, that's it. Okay, so let me show you again. You've got the bio pellets are gonna fit inside here. I'll drop this down to the bottom, fill it with the amount of bio pellets that are required. Now, one of the things when you start out in the system I've read is that you don't want to start with the full dose of bio pellets. I've read anywhere from one quarter of the dose to half the dose and then increase it a couple weeks thereafter. I'm going to just start easy with a, couple, uh, with a quarter of the recommended dose based on the instructions that are on uh, your biopause. This one here says uh, use 100 milliliters per 25 gallons. So I'll probably go with about half of that, quarter of that amount. 